recording. Hello everyone, it's Paul from Schedule Flow. I am going to do a short but not too fast slow um, presentation on webinar on uh, SWIMS documents in Schedule Flow. Uh, SWIMS and JSA documents. So there's two types. My understanding is the difference is the SWIMS is at the start of the project and the JSA is your daily uh, checklist of activities and you can do both or one or the other. The daily ones are obviously the higher um, manual effort for the technicians in the field. So just to quickly look at what a SWIMS could look like, they're quite configurable and every industry has a different set of um, assessments they need to do, risk assessments they need to do. So these are some of the questions we've, we've got set up here and I've just answered in a test environment. So in construction, these might be some of the questions you would check off to say, are there a uh, high risk of any of the following, working or near a confined place? So these are, I've gone in just to rehash, I've gone and opened up one of the jobs in schedule flow. I can see the, um, some of the questions here which have been answered. And um, now this can be done in the office, but normally it wouldn't be done in the office. Normally it would be done by the technician in the field. So they're on their mobile app, they come to their job, they um, turn to their time sheets right now, they come to their job, um, swims is required on this job, so they might get a bunch of questions they need to go through and answer. So they go through and check the things which apply um, to this job, pretty easy for them to do in the field. High risk, they'd come through and say noise. Um, sorry, a little typo there. So they've just gone through and answered um, those questions. Uh, general high risk, what are the control measures they've put in place? We're trying to do this in such a way that it doesn't take heaps of times for the guys in the field, but it meets your regular regulatory requirements. Um, and it's good for safety, obviously. You want them to just check these things that make sense. But you don't want to be overburdened with paperwork and you don't want to lose paperwork, which is another big problem. Or you've got it on other apps and stuff and it's not all in one place. It's nice just they're doing their job notes. Um, they're kicking off the job. Um, we can do it that they can't accept the job till they've done it, or we can do they can't complete the job till they've done their JSA. So there's a bit of controls to make sure you actually can't have a completed job without completing these documents. Uh, these questions, they've got the JSA comments here. So if there's anything extra they need to say, you know, a uh, uh, large dog wandering uh, around on site or whatever else they need to say, uh, uh, call dog pound. Uh, Pound, 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 pound. Um, so there's a, a nice workflow for them. Then you can capture the signature. So it's, it's um, I did a test signature there. So you can capture that signature. So there's a good way to um, just ensure that you've got um, full, full credibility. So I'll just redo the signature so they can do this with their thumb on their iPhone or their iPad, even with a mouse on it. Um, computer if they're using a computer. So we capture signature, apprentice, they can actually type in personal responsible, might have been Bob. Um, this is quite configurable so you can um, you can add in the different um, requirements and steps you have for people as um, you have for your swims requirement. Um, any photos or other stuff you think might be applicable. And that's just normal job notes. That's pretty much it. So once that's created, you've got the data saved on the job in the system um, to generate the swim. So if we jump back to the, to the office here and we jump back to this job in the office, um, we can see we now have our data. We can automatically generate the JSA when a job is saved in a complete status or we can have it that all the data's there and you can, um, I've already created a swim, so I'm just going to create another one. This is just um, a little bit of the information about the job and then I can generate the PDF of the swims here by clicking um, PDF and then this is what you can email to the office so you've got a record or anyone else you need to email. So the nice thing about this is everything's in one place, you've got your signatures, you've got your done and you just saw that the effort of the technician in the field is quite lightweight so there isn't um, just chasing around paper and all that sort of stuff is so much dead time and lost time. This is a really easy way for the technicians to meet their requirements. It's less of a headache for them. It's less of a headache for the office. And you've got full audit and accountability. So you can go to 
your reports tab up here under statements and all your JSAs are here. Um, the date you did them, the job they're associated with. Um, you can see the job summary information in here, the JSA summary information in here. It's um, a simple way to get down some of the paperwork you guys have to do and just the paper shuffle. We're just removing the paper shuffle with this uh, workflow. To update and configure them, we can help you do that. If you want to build your own JSAs, you just go to settings. We're in settings here, just towards the end of settings is templates. You go through to reports. You can add a JSA template and or a swims template or a service report. You could have many different templated documents here. Um, this is just swim, safe work method statement, your business name, um, general J, uh, JSA or swims comments in here. We grab any job information you want, you can put that in here wherever you want. Um, and then we've got some of the fields you've answered for your JSA here. So this can save hours and hours of uh, work each week, which is just spent um, doing the paper shuffle. And one of the biggest issues is just compliance. Like how often do they forget to do it? They, they, you know, they didn't have access to the sheet. They just forgot. They didn't know they forgot. You don't know they forgot. There's a problem, you come back, you have to find the paperwork, you can't find it. This way it's all in one place. You can jump in here. Uh, I can do some searching. So what was the report number? What was the date we did it? Um, or I just want to go in and find the job. So say I just know some job information. So um, the job might be, uh, we're scheduled today. So you know the date at least of the job. You come back and see the job and say, yep, this is my job here. So I can go edit the job, open my job. I can look at my reports. And I can say here are my two JSA reports. Um, for that job, so I can grab the PDF of that report. Um, just open up that, and then I've got full access to that JSA I did a week ago, or a year ago, or two years ago, or three years ago. It's all in one place. It's all searchable by job, by customer, uh, by date range. So it's a very it solves that uh, recoverability of uh, JSA information. You can make the uh, fields they complete, which we are asked the JSA questions. So we're setting up some JSA questions here. We can um, say, look, this is required. Uh, before you can set a job to be completed, you must answer this question. Or you can say, look, before you even start a job, you must answer this question. Um, or both. Uh, normally, you would choose one or the other. Though. Yep. And that will make it mandatory. So they can't flag a job as completed until they've answered that question. So if in the job work over here and they tried to say, Oh, I did answer the question, so I won't ask them. But, but normally they'd come along here, they'd say, look, my job's completed. Um, and it will ask them, have you answered all these questions? In this case, I have. Say we go back to another job, I haven't answered the questions. They come in and say, yep, nope, I did answer them. Now. Let's do the last one. I didn't answer them in the last one. Oh, I've answered them all of them. Ah. Um, let me find one. I didn't answer them all. I'll just unanswer these questions so I can show you the, the uh, check that you can't complete a job until you've answered all your questions. So if I come in here, I go try and save the job to completed. It says, in order to save this job, I uh, fix the following fields, control measures, high risk. So I go back to the fields, go to my control measures, this field's required, I go through, I go check, check. So I set that. Now I can go back, flag my job is completed, job done. Oops, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> I've got more, more fields which are required. So I've got to, yep, I've got to do the whole thing. Yep, job done, job's completed. And I made those two mandatory, the little asterisks, I didn't make these mandatory. So there we go. Um, that's easy peasy. That's uh, all, that's pretty much swims and JSAs. We can help you set those up. So just uh, give us a buzz and we can show you how to do it or we can do it for you for a small service fee. Um, yeah, but it's that easy. So thank you very much. And uh, yep, you need anything, just let us know. Block a message in here or just email support at schedulefloor.com. Questions? 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 Yeah. Oh, oh, there are questions. Sorry, I didn't see. Uh, we have some questions. Uh, I saw the text signature. How do we get that into the system? Um, and can we show that on the SWIMS document? So yes, and you can make it mandatory. So say we wanted the responsible person's signature to be mandatory. 
I come in here, let me just show you where I am. So I've gone to settings, I've gone to custom fields, I've gone down to my custom field, I've edited this field, I've said it's required for my swims, um, it's required on being completed, the field type is signature. Um, awesome. Hey, good day, Peter. Um, just, uh, yep, just going through the end of the swims JSA workflow. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a recording of this too, so we can email out a recording to you um, because we're sort of coming up to the end of it. But I might yeah. just, um, if do you have any questions about the, the JSAs or how to do it, I'll give you a quick, I'll just run through it quickly to show you how I did it. So this is just making fields mandatory um, and making signatures mandatory, but just what would a JSA look like? So if I'm a technician in the field, I'd come into my job like this. I would go through, um, we just do a checkbox to say that it's it's got a JSA and then these questions appear if the job type's JSA. So the technician's got to come through and um, answer their high risk questions on their site. They answer um, their control measures they're putting in place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They check any equipment they're using, typically, yep. What protective stuff are they using? They check that. And then once that's all done, we can make that mandatory so they can't complete a job until that's all done. But that's all done, that's completed. Oh, I didn't get a signature, so the responsible person hasn't signed. So I've got to go, I've got to say, uh, this is uh, Paul Tyrrell, and I've got to just set my signature. So just set that with my finger. So now I've got a signature captured for the JSA questions or the swims questions. And then we'll jump back and we'll have a look at what that looks like in the scheduler world. So I've gone through and that's, um, that's completed now. So now I jump back here and that's updated to completed. So let's look at what the JSA will look like on there. We can automatically generate it or we can um, just have the data there and generate it when you're ready or when you email it to someone. So now we're just uh, generating that uh, swims document automatically now. That's all the technician had to do. So now this is quite configurable. I've just put business details up there, um, some comments up there, swims comments up there, responsible person signature, and then the answers to the different uh, JSA questions here. Yeah. That's pretty much it. it. That's that's how easy it is for the guy in the field, and that's how easy it is for the office. And then everything's searchable. So if I come up here, I can go to reports. I can search by all my reports. I can search by job. So I say I, I search by job. I say, look, show me show me the jobs I did today. Show me the jobs I did today. Say uh, what was the swims on that job. Go through and look at the swims I did for that job. So I can open up that swim. So I can look back a day, a week, a month, a year, three years. All my information is there and uh, recoverable and mandatory. So I can't get missed because the job's complete. The technician's done it. Okay. And if you want a hand setting one up to have a play with, like just 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 let us know. Very very happy to help you um help you get that set up for sure. Okay. No worries. Um, just flick a just flick an email to paul at schedulefloor.com or support at schedulefloor.com and we can um, we can just help you have a little play with that. Yeah. Any questions about it? Any sort of headaches you have with JSAs? No, no. We're just going to be looking at. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Great. Yep. We're just going to be looking at putting someone on our one of our customers wants most of their stuff done with JSAs now. So. Yeah. Eventually, got them in there for the specific. They're more a generic JSA that we do for each site. Excellent. So. Yeah, you can you can send that to us, and we can put that in for you. Like you know, yeah. it's like fifty bucks mm -hmm. or something. We can build that. You just send us the template. We put all the fields in. We put all the rules. We generate it. And what we can have happen if you're doing JSAs because they happen every day by simply changing a job status, we can generate and email a JSA out to back to you and you can forward it to the customer or we can email it straight to the customer. So literally all the technician has to do is answer the questions and set the job status and a JSA will be emailed to you. Yeah, no worries. That's, that's, that's pretty much it. But yeah, really happy to help you out. Okay, mate, no worries. All right, uh, that's good. No more questions? No, that's it for me. Love your work. All right, thanks very much. Have a lovely day. And yep, if you need anything, just reach out.
Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye.